Guys, this is my review for Matilda the Musical. Wow, this is brilliant. Um, I was a bit anxious um, at first, when I first heard they were doing the Matilda the Musical from London film. Because they've ruined so many musicals. Like the Late Miss film with, with Hugh Jackman and Russell Crowe, it was just, it was good, but it wasn't brilliant. The Cats was, disa Cats was a disaster. West Side Story was the only good musical I think I've seen over the past couple of years that actually worked as an adaptation. And I was thinking, is this going to work as just as good? Yes, it does. It is fantastic. I don't need to tell you about the Matilda story. You, If you don't know the Matilda story, are you living in an Ikea box? Because where have you been? Because Matilda, obviously, story, young girl, um, with two, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Wormwood, their parents, don't appreciate her. She's much more intelligent. She loves books. Uh, she's ridiculed by her father and her mother, mistreated, goes to Cruncham Hall School, ends up with, uh, ends up being uh, in Miss Honey's class, who she, who she obviously makes friends with and has other friends as well. But in Cruncham Hall, it's not exactly what she expected. It's a prison. It's horrible. You've got an evil headmistress called Agatha Trunchbull who tortures the children, puts them in the chokey, you know, is very cruel to them. And within this, she starts to fight for the for, for the rights of the children and gets magical powers and you know with the, within her and she's more intelligent than what everyone thinks she is because she reads a lot of books and she uses her powers to help school but the difference is in this version it's more like the musical because you learn about the escapologist and the acrobat now the escapologist and the acrobat is a crucial term to this film it links very well into a certain reveal that happens in this movie that is the same as the same film, but there's much more of an understanding around a certain character. All I'll say is, my girlfriend didn't see this coming, and when I took her to see Matilda, she went, holy cow, what? Like, she, she couldn't believe it. She was completely blown away when she realised how the escapologist and the acrobat linked within the storyline. And it was absolutely performed well presented well the music is beautiful and it goes really well they don't miss a single song out from the west end apart from there's two songs they misplaced but the reason they missed it out is because one of their songs telly is diverted to an audience and you can't do that within a film and the second one was loud which was not really a it was not it wasn't missed all the reviews that i have heard from have completely blown up about this they said it's astonishing spectacular a west end supreme film of surprise and brilliance and it really is it is fantastic it's incredible it works really well and the cast is amazing i mean well, let's talk about the main star um alicia ware as matilda Never before have I seen this girl on screen, but I want to see her again in more films because she is a fantastic actress. She has the persona of Matilda. She has the motivation of Matilda. And her chemistry with Natasha Lynch, who plays Miss Honey, who, by the way, I had no idea could sing. And when she sings, this is my house, oh my gosh, it will touch your heart. It is amazing. It is spectacular. And her chemistry with Alicia is absolutely brilliant. Not to mention, Alicia Weir can sing. And I mean can sing. She really does work within the mu music. She works within the movie. Her voice is brilliant. All the actors who sing in this are brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Even Stephen Graham, which you know from dramas such as The Other Side, Call of uh, uh, Line of Duty... I've never seen him before in a musical before, but I tell you something, he was really good in this. I was very surprised because I've never seen Stephen Graham in a children's musical before, and he's brilliant as Mr. Wormwood. He's got the character bang on. And Matilda is amazing. It works within the script, and her music is fantastic. And the way she tells the story of the escapologist and the acrobat, the way that is directed and filmed is astonishing. And it's not messy, it's not improvised, it works within the movie. It is pure brilliant. And let's talk about one person that stood out for me. Oh my god. You know, you didn't think people could love Emma Thompson more than when they saw her as Trunchbull in Matilda. Even my girlfriend said, wow, because she sounds like Richard O'Brien. And if you haven't seen Matilda Musical, when Matilda Musical first came to stage. When Matilda Musical first came to stage in the West End, the first role of Matilda, uh, Miss Trunchbull was played by Richard O'Brien from Crystal Maze. 
And I first heard his song, Revolt. Uh, I, still, I first heard his song, The Smell of Rebellion, uh, on my phone. I think, was it three, three or four years ago? And I loved it. But then I heard Emma Thompson sing it. And she sounds exactly like him. Her persona is brilliant. I'm being honest with you. She's frightening. But you start to, there is one point in the film when you're watching it, you really start to care for what happens to the children. That's how you know it's a good movie. When you're in the film and you're not distracted and you, you actually care for what's happening in the film, that means it's a brilliant movie. And she is very horrible. Mean, evil, her persona is brilliant. And her voice is incredible. And you know how she shows the evil cruelty of, of the trunch balls. Brilliant. This is Roald Dahl at his finest. This is just, this is like watching the film of the book. It's like watching the film of the book. Very Roald Dahl attributes to it. Roald Dahl characters and Roald Dahl moments and secrets and surprises that work really well within the cin cin cinematography of the film. Um, and it's fan. It is brilliant. It is spectacular. I mean, I can't fault this. It is amazing. And the children are brilliant. I went to see School of Rock at the Sheffield Theatres um, in September with my girlfriend to watch the School of Rock children. And they were fantastic. And these kids are just as good. You listen to them singing Revolting Children and listen to them singing uh, Bruce and When I Grow Up. And it's spectacular. You'll be moved. Their voices are incredible. Not auto-tuned. Not changed. Pure voices that are true and real and not been adjusted at all. And it works very well. It's fantastic. It's a brilliant film. It's out in the cinemas now if you want to go watch it. But just remember, it is on Netflix on Christmas Day. So please, if you are uh, on Christmas Day, turn to Netflix, stick this on if you've not watched it. It is spectacular. You and your family will enjoy it. It's a pure, pure family film. Anyone can see this. Older family, adults, teenagers, anyone can see this because you will enjoy it. It is spectacular and it is brilliant. And it's one of, and it's just as good a West Side Story. Now, two of the best musical adaptation films I've seen now are West Side Story and Matilda. And it is fantastic. So for all those reasons, I've got to give Matilda Musical five stars. So, Matilda Musical, have you guys seen this film yet? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section just below this video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button just below the video. And if you want to see any more of my movie reviews, then subscribe to Movie Madness. Have a lovely Christmas and a happy new year. And I will see you in my next movie review. And also stay tuned because after Christmas Day on the 29th, I will be doing my top 10 of 2022. You do not want to miss that.